Okay, welcome back to C-Sharp.net Nuggets. These are little nuggets of gold that will make you a better programmer if you know how to use them. So we're using this animal class that we were talked about in the last one, and this animal has a name, a number of legs. It describes what an animal might be like, like a dog has a name, type dog, and then number of legs has four. And in, this time it has a little function in here that's do something, and all it does is return I did something. So it doesn't do much, but it returns a string. Okay, and in this example, what we are talking about today are name of. So it may seem strange, but there are times when you want, you will want to write out not just the value of my dog name, which might be like dog or tiger, but you also might want to write out the actual name of the variable, which is name. And you might do this when you are doing some kind of error logging you don't know exactly what's going on and you want to write out in an error log the name of the variable and so let me demonstrate how this works so if we were to take let's take this first line so in this case we are writing out the value of my dog dot, dot name so we didn't set it though so what if we called my dog dot name equal to rex that's the name of the dog okay that's fine, and we write out his name, and what we'll see is name Rex. What if we want to write out the name of the variable? You would do it this way. The name of, right here, is a function, and it will contain name. I know this seems strange, but there are times when you may need this, and it's good to know it's here, and that's why we're doing these nuggets. So let's run this to this point and see what comes up on our console. I hate how the console disappears, but notice we've got Rex here I know it's hard to see it's very small and the very next value is name so we have the name of the variable and we have uh, Rex now we can take that a step further and we can write out now remember my dog dot do something will return what does it return a string that says I did something and so this is going to write out I did something the very next line though what if we want to write out the name of the method which would be do something so this will write out the name of the method now let's run this let's comment this out because we we've passed that we don't need that anymore this little button right here will by the way this little button if you don't know will comment out many lines all at once it will uncomment and it will comment and comment means it won't be run just in case you didn't know that alright we'll set the breakpoint past here let it run and what do we get I did something and the name of the actual function do something and the name of the function is do something and that's what we got in the console alright you can use that you can use that in other ways too you can use it for the a variable a member or type alright I hope you like that nugget more to come